A good salt and pepper prawn is a thing of beauty. Salty, crispy, spicy. And the first thing we're gonna do is make our spice mix. So I'm gonna use some Szechuan peppercorns, some black peppercorns. And now there's not much to this dish, so I think it's really worthwhile uh, going to the trouble of grinding the spices yourself for this one. Heating these spices up in the pan releases all the oils and aromas and flavors from those spices. So you just wanna keep them moving in the pan so they don't burn. Mm, and once you can smell that beautiful Szechuan pepper aroma and you can see just a little bit of smoke, that is when we're ready. You can use a spice grinder or a mortar and pestle for this. Just wanna grind those peppercorns to a fine powder. Ah, oh, that smell is so amazing already. With that, I'm gonna add some salt. Now there's more here than you need, but this spiced salt is great on loads of different things. Fried chicken, grilled shrimp. Ah, oh, it's so useful. It's really handy to have in the cupboard. And now for the prawns themselves. So I'm just gonna make a little flour coating. Some rice flour, plain flour. I'm just gonna season your prawns with just a little bit of salt. We are gonna be adding that salt mixture at the end, so you just need a, a little head start. And then you just wanna dredge those prawns into that flour. The rice flour is going to help crisp up the prawns. So that's why I like to use a mixture of the rice and plain flour. Now just shake off the excess flour. And when your oil's hot enough, gently slide those prawns in. Now don't overcrowd your pan. That will reduce the temperature of the oil too much and that could give you a soggy prawn, which you don't want. So just do this in batches if you need to. The sound of that sizzle is exactly what you want. Just move those around in the oil. I'm just going to cook these until they're pink and just slightly golden. Now, giant chopsticks are totally optional, but who doesn't love a giant chopstick? Teddy's prawns are looking really good. I love how the light flour coating just gives everything a nice crispness without a heavy, thick batter. Just drain those on paper towel. And then while these are still warm, just pop them into a mixing bowl and then scatter over that amazing spiced salt. Give them a toss. It's important you do this while they're warm so that all those spices and the salt stick to the outside of your prawn. Now for the dipping sauce, I like to go spicy. So I'm using some of my mum's Nam Dim chili sauce. You can find the recipe on my website and mixing that with a little bit of mayonnaise. Okay, and that's it, you're ready to serve.